come from Spain, you can see it from the Enya. Uh, Celia Fernandez and Aurea, my colleagues. Uh, we are working at the School of Computer System Engineering uh, at the Universidad Politecnica de Madrid. And we are, my presentation, I'm introducing our history of how are introducing social and environmental aspects or issues and ethical issues in, in our teaching, in, in the IT engineering programs. Okay, uh, to start with, uh, this is a, uh, some slides that can summarize the, the presentation, but I have changed some, something about that. And I want to start, yeah, uh, telling about a bit of our story. Once upon a time, uh, a long time ago, in the last century, <laughs> in the 90s, uh, the first step. Oh, sorry, I'm confused. <laughs> <No. I don't laughs> <use. laughs> okay, first. What's this? Okay. okay. The first step was in 1992 uh, an elective subject uh, about IT law uh, uh, was introduced uh, from the top down. Uh, approach the, the dean of the of the school wanted to introduce it, and the, the teacher uh, doesn't uh, didn't understand this. Uh, why? Huh? The, the important things are mathematics, technical programming, algorithms, and so on. Okay. And that was the only thing about that. But in 2004. <coughs> 21st century, some teachers involved in some international cooperation of interest uh, introduced an elective subject about ICT for development, no? the applications and the impacts that uh, ICTs, information and communication technologies, could have in, for human development, no? the opportunities that these technologies offer for development. And that was a, a, a good place to uh, start working with the students about social social issues and, and technology, making them to reflect and why are doing and uh, what problems <laughs> the, the technology is solving. Hmm? In this, in this was the, the then with the European Higher Education Area and the new programs, hmm? but we we changed the programs and. The, our university introduced a generic competence, a soft skill and competence for every degree called respect for the environment. Uh, focused mainly on the environmental issues. But in our school, our school a subject was a new subject was introduced with more credits, sixth grade, it was compulsory for every student. And more contents, legal, professional, ethical, and social issues. Okay, that was uh, <coughs> based mainly on the ACM recommendations that include social and ethical issues. But the, the, real, the reality was that uh, the, I don't know how to say, inertia and English. Inertia. 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 <laughs> Was focused <laughs> on legal, <laughs> on legal topics, a bit of professional, and the ethical and uh, social issues were one or two lessons and not assessed at all. Uh, okay, and you all know if you are teachers, if some topic is not is not assessed, the students, okay, they say it's not important. So, but from the bottom up initiatives. We introduced new, new ways of, of working and let the, the student think it. Elective way with new subjects, science and technology, and giving some cultural events, uh, films to, to reflect, uh, uh, readings, and uh, visiting some research center in social topics, uh, with external lectures, and, and so on. And and it was a laboratory, and we were introducing in the compulsory subject more ethical and social issues. No, 
2014, 20% uh, of the t class time were, was about ethical and social issues, and 25% of the scoring, of the final scoring of the subject, was about this, this topic. So, hmm, that was a, a good way. And now, hmm, in last year, the uh, IT degrees, we have two, were updated. Hmm? The programs were changed, and uh, we have a new framework. Hmm? A new generic competence was introduced called social and environmental responsibility, not only respect for the environment for our university, uh, wider generic competence was introduced, and with several subjects that I'm going to explain now. Okay, first, uh, well, the definition was that, huh? it's written, you, you have it, but our main goal was uh, that students be aware that uh, IT or technology, no, that the engineering is not only technical issues, hmm? the debate here, hmm? that uh, engineering is more than this, hmm? is affected social issues, ethical issues, environmental impacts, laws, hmm? regulation, and so on. So to be aware of all these things hmm? and to know how our these things related to IT engineering and to be responsible when they develop projects and be able to introduce these issues into the project. Mm -hmm. This is our work. Okay. Uh, this definition were based by, by different recommendations from accreditation boards, uh, CDIO, educational uh, initiatives, or the Association for Computer Machine. Our well, and uh, how about the, the new subjects? Hmm? There are two in the first year ethical and social issues, and in the third year uh, legal and professional issues. Hmm? There are three credits, European credits, both of them. In the, in the first one, hmm? we want the, the students to, to think and to know about the impact of. IT technologies in, in our world and their relationship with society, all the, all the impacts. And we give some knowledge and some principles of professional ethics and uh, corporate social responsibility because the students uh, will be working at companies and enterprises or they have to develop it something for their proper uh, enterprise, but they have to to be aware about the responsibility of institutions as well. And the legal and social issues, we focus on the um, issues or aspects that are regulated by law and so on, how to apply in, in cases. Okay. And finally, uh, all of our students have to develop a final project at the end of the, of the program. So we want them to introduce in the memory a reflection about the ethical, social issues that affect the, the proper problem, hmm? the, the, the project, and how they have taken into account these issues into, to develop the project. Hmm? Okay. This is our In order to avoid hmm, uh, negative impacts and enhance and to give the opportunity to to see, uh, you, you said before that if a project is sustainable and taking into account the customers and so on, it's much better. So enhance the, the positive impact that the project can have. Okay. Uh, what do we like to highlight all the, the strong points of our experience? I think it's for all of our students now, uh, are compulsory. And in several stages, it's not only uh, isolated point, but the beginning, the middle, and the final, they have to put all, all these mm -hmm. stages. We focus on the IT uh, issues, not uh, we give some general reflection about technology on society, but we focus about with cases, real cases, situations, and so on. We have analyzed the Snowden 
and the spine in the network. Next year, of course, uh, the case of Volkswagen, because it's software engineering, so, so we are preparing this case to, to reflect with the students and, and so on. And the real case is that there, is, there are a lot about computers. Okay, we, we are trying to have a holistic approach about sustainability or professional responsibility. We need to put together or gather all these issues, not only environmental, not only ethical, all together. And we try to give a <coughs> holistic approach, the individual approach, the individual behavior, the individual ethics, but also the companies. Uh, I think the company's responsibility and the impacts globally of the opportunities that uh, technology gives to the world globally, <laughs> the macro level. And we have, mm, we are trying to to have the same model of uh, analyzing cases, so to work with the cases, with the situation, with the projects. Huh? We need the students and knowledge it's about ethical principles, law, regulations, uh, and so on. But they have to to have the skills to identify issues in a given uh, scenario, technological scenario, to identify, to analyze them, uh, taking into account all the stakeholders, uh, uh, analyzing from different points of view to get the skill in, in that techniques, and uh, making decisions to decide to act to propose uh, uh, solutions that are uh, avoid negative impacts, enhance the positive one, they are coherent with the professional deontology. So, okay, these steps. And from the first year, when they analyze cases, they follow these steps, next year as well, and the methodology that we propose for the final year project is, is the same. Identify, analyze, design. And that was a top-down and bottom down approaches as we have seen. No? It's, it's a mixture. I think it's a good point. Okay, this is the end. <laughs> we uh, and our students, we are happily ever after living. Nah. Nah, really, it's not real. University is not a fairy tale. It's not Wonderland. We don't know. So we have to keep on working. And what we think we have to improve, we have to improve our day-by-day -day teaching, better contents, uh, teaching methodologies, assessment. We are thinking sometimes to introduce some <coughs> history of technology or some, some lessons about that. Uh, and more films, <laughs> for instance. So improving our teaching, improving um, our support for the final year project, the methodologies, the framework to, for the students to be guided to, to make the, the work. And we want to involve more teachers. Huh? This is a very important point for us. Huh? Uh, participating in, in their subjects, huh? but including also the, these topics in their own subjects. Huh? For instance, we have started in professional English. They, we give some cases and text for debates in English about these, these issues, but there are other topics that are appropriate to, to work with this. So, uh, to finish, better than the happy end of the tales, so it's more to be continued like the TV series. <laughs> Maybe next year in some meetings we can meet again, so it's a long way. Okay, thank you for your attention.